I'm always looking to add new and interesting things to the backgrounds of my videos and my live streams, stuff that shows off a little bit of my personality and gets people to ask questions about what it is or where it came from. And boy, do I got something for you guys today. I'm Ryan Burris with Right Tech Gaming, and in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the LifeX Beams, a smart RGB lighting kit, very similar to the Aurora Nano Leaf. Let's go ahead and just jump right into the unboxing. So here is the original box that it comes in. And on the front side of this box, you have a few different promo photos, different layouts, different designs on what it can do. It is voice controlled and app controlled. This is a set of six as well. Now on this side, it shows you that it can be controlled with Apple HomeKit, Amazon Alexa, Google Assistant, and Microsoft Cortana. On the back, you have a picture of the app and it connects to Wi-Fi, no hub or bridges needed. Here's a few different diagrams of kind of layouts you can do. Right here is a setup of what's all in the box. So you get six main straight pieces, which are about 11.8 inches long and 1.37 inches width. Power brick, corner piece, and the Wi-Fi connector. Let's go ahead and layer down and open her up. A little magnet section here. Bring it right across. And right when we open it, we do have this little protective film. And then right here is all six of the straight beams. Now on the back side of the beams, we have two different 3M sticky tapes that are Velcroed in. So in case you mess up, there is some readjustment that you can do because it's Velcroed. You can also get replacements in case you reuse them a lot. Now on each corner here, we have the connector strips, which are magnetized together to connect right in. If I grab one more, kind of see they don't connect this way and it kind of just repels itself but on the other side makes it real easy to kind of put them together because one way they just won't work and this way they snap together now I'll go ahead and put these aside right in here we have a little pamphlet on the back side you have a list of all the things that are in the box few different layout ideas here in the center. And then kind of what you should do before you start to stick them, clean the surface. That's there. Here's the actual instructions. A little bit longer. Kind of covers what you should do. Connect them, stick them, hit the power brick, get the app, all that kind of stuff. Now right in here, we do have the corner piece, which has it's a little square piece that also lights up and it's got three connectors. So only three. This four side's empty. So you can kind of have it as a T section with them going out this way. Like that. And it's just kind of there. Something like this. Or even, well, not that way. Just like that. And then we have the power brick, which comes a little separate just in case you're in a different country. I'm in the US, so I have the US plug. And we have the Wi Fi connector power brick. So you just plug this side in right here. And this is the connector that connects to the beams themselves. And then that there is the whole box. And we will start with a simple setup here. First thing we're gonna need to grab is the Wi-Fi adapter and the power brick. Plug that thing in. I got the cord here. Wi-Fi adapter here. There's a little button we'll have to push right here in this corner. Kind of hard to see. We gotta press that once it's all set up. Let's slide this over here. Pull this out of the way. So first off, let's go ahead and get a, a few of these beams set up. And if you have it in the right orientation, it will just clip together like that. Just kind of 
goes together. Slide this one kind of out of the way so we got a little bit more room. Put a corner piece right there as well. How do I want this? I guess that's going to be the way. Probably just do a two and two. Now with this setup, we have two straight pieces, corner piece and two more straight pieces. We're leaving out two just because the size of the table that I got here. So we'll go ahead and plug in this connector piece here to the corner and then plug in main power. It should initialize, it runs through, checks out the formation and then it turns it on. Right now they're quite bright, but we'll have to grab our phone and go into our app Go over to this plus button. Now yours might look a little different if you're running the iOS version of the app. Click connect light. Make sure you're connected to the Wi-Fi of the light itself. Put it back up. Click the light. Select the Wi-Fi to connect to. I'm connected to my home Wi-Fi. My password's already there. And it's gonna prepare for the light. This might take a few minutes. We might have to fast forward through this section. All right, and our setup is done. We'll go ahead and click set up location. I'm just going to go through home, bedroom. I'll just call this light two. Done, set the name. I'll be done because I don't want to set up an Amazon Alexa or assistant. Now, right when it starts, we do have the basic whites. So if we want a warm white or cooler whites, you can go ahead and cycle through all these. You got the middle section here, which is how bright it is. Now these things get really bright as you can tell. It's kind of overexposing the camera currently. This is at 1% and it's still kind of bright. You bring it up to about 20. It's pretty bright. 40. It's getting real bright already. Let's go 50. 75 and then 100. These things get real, real bright. So if we go over here to the create section, you have a bunch of different pre-made setups of different color. It's kind of hard to see with how bright it is. But you have a bunch of different setups. Here's more of a green, more like orange and red. And you got a bunch of different effects. You can animate, color cycle, Click that, it'll just cycle through different colors. And you can change the settings too by clicking that and adjusting all those. Flicker just kind of dims and goes, kind of like a candle. Makes it go brighter and darker. The move section, that one is one of my favorites. I'll we'll have to go back into create. Go back into effects. And that just kind of moves it. Might be easier to see if I put down the brightness. For right now, I'll have it at 1%. So you can kind of see it move. And again, different settings in here for how slow. You can make this thing go real slow. Music visualizer. You got pastels, just cycles through some pastel colors, a randomizer, spooky, which is usually red, and then strobe, which is gonna give you a warning. You have to hold it down and it just flashes through the colors. There's also a day and night cycle. You can set it up to do different things depending on the time of day. And also in the create tab, you can have solid colors. You can cycle through this section here too if you just want solid colors. Just go through the wheel itself and select the color you want. Let's go probably what's gonna show up pretty well, red. We'll click a red. And then it shows off red. You can also go back to the app, 
click through here and you can paint which colors you want. So let's say we wanted some white up in here. You can just kind of click and drag on that top bar and it adds in the white. Say if you wanted another color, if we want a dark blue, you can just kind of add in a few sections and add in some blue kind of up here. So there's a lot you can do with the app itself. You guys can just go ahead and get in there and play around with it some more. For me, I'm just gonna go back to colors. I'll do one of these preset ones. Probably exciting. Effects, I'll throw a move in there. Make it go somewhat fast. And for now, that'll be my setup. All right, guys, so now that we got this one fully set up, minus the two straight pieces we left out just to fit it on the table here, you can have a total of eight straight pieces and two corner pieces hooked up to each power brick. But again, in the kit, you only get six straight pieces and one corner piece, everything that we got later on the table here. The one behind me is also just six straight pieces and one corner piece. It's just another one that I had from before. So we'll go ahead and hit the lights. And now when it's a lot darker in here, you can see the lights a whole lot better. They shine a lot brighter. Even the one behind me looks a lot better. Now, if we use my magical editing powers to... You gotta love the power of editing. Even the box moved. All right, so let's talk about some specs. Now, each kit is gonna come with six straight pieces and one corner piece. Each of the six straight pieces are 11.8 inches and by 1.3 inches. Each of the six straight pieces have 10 zones of RGB, as you can see moving here. They do have red, blue, and green colors, as well as white, which is capable of over 16 million different color combinations. The power draw is 27 watts with six straight pieces and one corner piece at full 100% power draw. And let's talk about price. So this kit here will run you $149.99 on Amazon. Links in the description down below. Now, in terms of other RGB lighting solutions and smart lighting, this is the cheaper alternative to stuff like the Aurora Natalie panels. And I, I prefer these for one, you can have multiple different lights in each little zone, which the Aurora Nano leaves you can't. You can only have one color in each of the triangle shapes. Secondly, these are cheaper than the Auroras. So I would definitely go with these over the Aurora Nano leaf panels for those two reasons. One, not as common. Two, better lighting options. Now LifeX is also coming out with a square tile that has multiple different zones of RGBs. So it's just like, instead of a stick, it's gonna be a square. I think it's 12 by 12 inches. If you guys would like to see a video of that, just let me know in the comment section down below. So if you found this video helpful at all, you can hit a like on the video. Maybe subscribe to the channel if you like what I'm doing, if you wanna see more videos like this. And I do have to say, these lights do look really good. But wait, there's more. Relevant content up here, other reviews, other setup tutorials over here. Go ahead and click one of these videos. Click them, click. Do something.